we're also seeing similar similar images, those big lines outside of grocery stores in Asheville. So we have video to show you of that. Folks trying to stock up here. One resident says that she does not believe that really anyone was prepared for the sheer amount of devastation that Helene would bring. Oh, it was way worse than we expected. Um, we were not preparing for an event like this. We've had in the past um, hurricane warnings and and when they come, it's just, you know, a rainstorm and it hasn't been as devastating as this. Um, we've never seen this type of flooding and, and destruction. And so we've seen here, of course, we've been able to show you the small snapshot of community efforts underway to try to help our communities in need. Uh, we also know that efforts are underway elsewhere off of the airport property and in counties beyond. WCNC Charlotte's Miles Harris has more on what's happening elsewhere in Hickory to try to serve the community. The call for necessities continue to grow following Helene and the impact is being felt in neighboring counties, communities and even businesses. And most of those businesses are now trying to keep up with that demand for those in need. These used to be cans, cans. Some shelves bare, but the Northwest Ace Hardware Store in Hickory is doing all that they can to bring hope following Helene. Day by day basis, we're bringing a bunch of emergency supplies in, generators, batteries, gas cans, lamp oil, lamps, you, you name it. We come here until they know that they can access. You know. It's more than just the hardware store stepping in. I have been told by family up there that they are running out of like water. They're not able to get anything. Ashley Henderson is helping bringing hope to those in need. Anything helps for sure because um, one case of water could really mean life or death for a family that's up there or any other community that's impacted. In Hickory, Miles Harris, WCNC Charlotte.